Following the abandonment of the fixture two weeks ago, St Mirren and Ross County look to complete the job this time in Paisley. It was 2-0 that St Mirren led two weeks ago when the game was called off. And down goes Kevin Lukasen. Was there a tug on the Dutch striker? This ball flicked on, possibly by a St Mirren head. Lukasen, there was a tug from Newton. Maybe not enough for a penalty, though. Nice touch by Connor Newton. Jason Naismith, Stephen Thompson. Got in front of his man well, and it just flashed wide. Kenny McLean. And Kelly, now McGowan looking to twist and turn and set up Kenny McLean. And St Mirren have the lead, 35 minutes played. Kenny McLean. He scored twice against St Johnson. And he's now got one against Ross County, although did that come off Stephen Thompson in the end? McLean's corner and Thompson. Oh, he almost fashioned a finish out of that one. Don't know how he found the space to get the shot in. Did really well here, Stephen Thompson. And a little unlucky. Three wins from the last four games for St Mirren. He really turned the corner. McLean, McGowan, Thompson looking to tee up. Newton, who scores, and it's two. And it's as you were. St Mirren lead 2-0 at home against Ross County as they did two weeks ago before the heavens really opened and Newton took that so well it's two in the space of a week there's Saunders oh what a finish from Stephen Saunders and just his second start for Ross County and they are back in the game Really well taken here. Flicked on by Thompson, in fact, and then Stephen Saunders. That was magnificent. McCosland to bring it down, and just a bit of a poor touch, and in goes Ivan Sproul. Well, that was high, and, well, he can have no complaints as the red card is shown. There is absolutely no defence for that kind of thing at all. And it is a straight red card for Ivan Sproul. And Ross County are up against it now. Goodwin. Searching out McGinn. And it's got there off Saunders, who leaves a foot in. And that will be a yellow card for the Ross County goal scorer. And he got himself in. A spot of bother while well, trying to take down Jim Goodwin's long ball. And then he took down John McGinn. McLean. St Mirren looking to finish the job now. Oh, and in comes Saunders. Well, what was he thinking? And you can see the reaction from his captain, Richard Britton. It's a second yellow and a red. He was only booked three minutes ago. Sproul was only sent off five minutes ago and Ross County have really lost their heads here. They're down to nine men. Here's John McGinn. Kelly going forward, gets the ball in from McGowan, it's Sean Kelly. And a good save from Mark Brown. Well, he's really impressed today with Sean Kelly getting forward really well from left back. Kelly, now McGowan, he's got Thompson, Thompson looking to set up, Newton, oh, it was almost a carbon copy of the second goal, this time Mark Brown got a hand to it though, as Connor Newton looked for his second goal of the game, and it would have been the one that kept the three points safe in Paisley. Can Ross County fashion a chance, a late chance, Knocked on by Kello, now was there a hand involved there by Jim Goodwin? Ross County certainly feel that there was a handball here by the St Mirren captain. Subscribe now for free.
and catch all the action on SPFL YouTube.